Hey guys, welcome back to The Breakfast Club. This is episode 27, and it's probably gonna be a little bit of a short one because the person that usually does most of the talking <laughs> is having a little bit of a hard time talking. He, uh... Not, okay, just a little <laughs> bit of the talking. I don't talk them, okay, I do talk a lot, but I, uh, I had Save the, your words. <laughs> yeah, fun experience of ripping four wisdom teeth out just a couple days ago. Yes. So, I have a bunch of gaping holes in my <laughs> mouth that are bleeding. For anyone who's ever experienced that, it's and not the funnest time ever. No, and I don't like taking drugs, so I refuse to take them, which makes it that much more of a fun experience. You're, this yeah. is my vessel, and I keep it clean. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... Except for with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I abuse it. <laughs> All right. So uh, just a few things to touch on that came in this last week. Um, something that we don't typically talk about, I guess, because we probably don't get models in stock that often, uh, but Accuracy International. I thought you were going to say Magpul. Oh. <laughs> Sidebar, we did get a bunch of Magpul in stock. We did, yes. Shocker. Uh, but what I was saying before, we got a Accuracy International AXMC rifle in stock. So that is their multi-caliber rifle system. So a quick change barrel bolt and mag. And I believe for the 308 version, you need like a insert. So the AXMC, so you can't get, uh, there is an AXMC 308. Yeah, but, a standalone so. version. You need an AX-308 as a standalone gun, and right. AXMC is both 338, 300, and 308. Right. So to go to the 308, correct, they have the magwell converter. That way you can use the other magazines and away you go. And the 300 and 338 magazines, you don't need any converter. There you go. Barrels interchange, bolts, the uh, shrouds, everything like that. Yeah. Transit cases. Yeah. So we got the 338 model in stock. Um, that's it's a, it's quite a pricey rifle, but uh, <laughs> but it's an accuracy international. It's an accuracy international, so <laughs> we just thought we'd show it. We don't really talk about them all that often. It's been about a year since we actually had one in stock. Yeah. In 2020, we started with over 28 different models, not inventory, 28 models yeah. in stock, and those went away so fast. I know, and like there, we've always carried a pretty decent amount of stock on them. Like we actually move quite a few rifles for some of you watching might think that that's kind of crazy that's considering silly. they're worth yeah. a small car well but <laughs> I mean, you, i'm not saying you can't go shooting gophers with them but yeah. you know most people aren't <laughs> no i was quite surprised i went to check just the website because i was going to talk about this to see what all we had in stock and there's only two models there's yeah. that and i think an aw uh it's our at left hand that we've oh. had here because we're waiting for that special lefty to want a green left-handed gun <laughs> maybe that'll be my next purchase for seven thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Um, we also got a shipment of B&T parts, so I didn't look too closely. Uh, they're at mostly what, gone. And I'm told they're mostly gone, <laughs> so, I mean, if there's some left, check those out. Yeah, there might be a handful of magazines, maybe a firing pin or a spring or this, that, but not a lot left. All, uh, yeah, it all got eaten up pretty quick. Um, we also got some desert tech stuff in, so some conversions and some parts and accessories. Again, I'm not overly familiar with that lineup of products, but... Similar to that of the AI, you got okay. your, your chassis style precision rifle. These ones, of course, are bullpup more so than your traditional rifle. Oh, right, okay. And yeah, barrels are interchangeable, bolts and everything like that, magazines. Uh, they don't need magwell adapters, unlike the AIs, because their magazines actually have this goofy little lip on them that makes it silly, but okay. they, they work. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, those ones uh, are a little bit different because this is a bolt action. So obviously, if you're a lefty, you're on your own because <laughs> they ain't making it for you. You know, a lefty can shoot a traditional rifle right-handed or left-handed, but not these ones. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a way more compact. It's got its own little uh, style going for it. There's a couple. Yeah, check out the website. Yeah. I think we have a couple. I don't know if we have rifles built up because they don't so. ship them in rifles. And I don't think I have the pictures of just the conversion kits, so maybe that'll be no. my project. For, so you buy a chassis later. and a conversion kit. Yeah. So you need both to make a gun, Yeah. but they don't sell them as guns. They sell them <laughs> as chassis and conversion kits, which is just like, I want to buy a gun. So you buy a chassis and that's like, it doesn't yeah. have a barrel, but it's technically a gun. <laughs> it's kind of silly. There you go. Um, okay, so I know you don't want to talk much, but how did your match on the weekend go? Oh, well, Prairie Brutality. Prairie Brutality. Yeah, that yeah. was actually fantastic. We had a great, uh, we had a great day. Good. It was about 36 to 37 degrees. Uh, we had no overheating or dehydration. Good. Because uh, it was mandatory to drink a bottle of water between every nice. match or every stage. Uh, didn't have a huge turnout in shooters, but we did have a lot of fun, and all the guys that were there were really dedicated to shooting it. Uh, so that was a ton of fun. I know Mike was gathering up as much video footage as we can, so <laughs> that'll be coming up soon. I'm we'll sure. share that with you guys when uh, when we can. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that uh, that's everything for that. <laughs> what about Magpul? 
Um, we do have, we told you a couple weeks ago that uh, to stay tuned that we had something fun coming your way. Uh, so we are going to talk about that now. It should be up and running. We are, well, as you can see, we have a uh, selection of guns, fun firearms. <laughs> Uh, we got the MCR up top, we have the non-restricted FX9 in the middle, and we have a Ruger PC carbine takedown version on the bottom. So, so. That, that FX9 <laughs> is available that you can win it. Well, really we haven't cool. got that far yet. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, an FX9 non-restricted, haven't seen one of those in like two years. It's been a while, yeah. How do I get my hands on that? Well, we only have one, and so we decided that we were going to give it away. Uh, so those three firearms are going to be up for grabs. We're doing a poncho promo. Which I have uh, farted around in these ponchos because the reason we have these ponchos is because I'm like, those are some pretty cool ponchos. I'm like, I'll take them. I didn't read how many zeros were behind <laughs> what I was buying. Uh, so I bought a lot of ponchos. So we got these ponchos. They're really good. They come with boots, gloves, and full, full-fledged thing. Yeah. So if you Water are water resistant, doing, uh, chemical resistant. Yeah, they are a chemical, uh, <laughs> anti-chemical, you know, warfare poncho. So they're, they're a heavy-duty poncho. If you are in any agriculture, if you're going to get wet, throw yeah. one in the uh, in the truck, anywhere. in the cabin, anywhere. They're fantastic to have because they actually ship them. They're only about this big, but they're super heavy-duty PVC like. Coated, it's yep. a whole whole shebang. Like I said, they come with little boots. Boots are the greatest yeah, in the world. Yeah, they do. Uh, so yeah, the ponchos are really good. So by buying a poncho, you get entered to win one of, th one of three of these. So for every poncho sold is an entry in. So you buy 10 ponchos, you have 10 entries to win. And we're only, there's only 500 entries up for grabs. Yeah, so, so you odds have are pretty a good. one in 500 chance three times. There you go. So three out of 500 chance. Yeah if you only buy three ponchos. No limit to uh, the amount of entries or ponchos that you can purchase. Yeah. Um, we will be making the draws once they're all gone. Um, the first draw made gets their pick yeah. of what they want. Second person gets their pick and the third gets what's left. What's left. <laughs> so the more ponchos you buy, the cheaper your entries are. So yeah. by buying one entry, you're paying, I believe, $30. For three entries is $75. For five entries, it's $100. And remember. for 10 entries, it's 150 bucks. So yeah. you save by getting 10 entries versus one, your price is cut in half. Yeah, and they also have like um, accessory packages added to each of them. So basically what you see, there's some optics, some accessories, it's all there. <laughs> Which one would you like to review? <laughs> uh, well, let's take I'm a look so at uh, the Ruger PC carbine on the bottom. Yeah, so the Ruger PC carbine, actually this one's the most straightforward. So M Carbo kit uh, dropped into it. So you have an extended charging handle, magazine release, and a flat blade trigger. You've got the entire forehand covered in Magpul uh, M-Lock attach uh, XTM panels for rough texturing. And you've also got a Trigicon MRO on there, Perfect. which is a what dot? Uh, that's not what you have here. You have a crossfire. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Well, I have an MRO on there, so yeah. That's what you get then, I guess. Yeah, it's way better. <laughs> you get a Trigicon MRO. It's supposed to be a Vortex? No, 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 no. <laughs> Trigicon MRO. Uh, so for the FX9? FX9 is a baller setup because you are running Fab Defense furniture, so you got the greatest grip in the core stock. Again, Magpul XTM panels on the front just for aggressive texturing. You have an Athlon TSR1 red dot off a 45 degree offset up front, off to the side, and you have a Vortex, or sorry, Vortex. Uh, it's a Vortex cantilever mount because Athlon doesn't build one. And then you have the Athlon 1 to 10 in a 20 MOA one piece mount set up behind it. So you've got a 1 to 10 optic with a offset red dot. Hugely awesome package. Yeah, we're really excited about this. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, that one there, that's the, um, it's the BTR Gen 2 one to, uh, 1 to 10, so you're getting a wicked optic. Wick, I can't speak, I'm sorry. I, I know, I said, I told him he did, he wasn't going to have to talk, but then he wanted to go through all this, so <laughs> I guess but that's I your own blood fault. At the end of this. <laughs> uh, and the last one, everyone knows what that one is, it's the MCR. We've got a Daniel Defense Covert grip on the front, again, XTM panels. I love them because you should never have to feel the cold touch all three. of Handlock. <laughs> Uh, and then you're running a Greatest Grip and a Magpul Mo fixed stock, along with Vortex's new Spitfire HD Gen 3, or sorry, HD Gen 2, 3 power prism scope. There you go. So, so yeah. three pretty awesome packages. Um, yeah, we just really, we wanted to do something fun. 
this year, this summer. Yeah. Give some stuff away, do a promo. Um, I literally found that FX9 in the warehouse. <laughs> if anyone's wondering, like, oh my yeah, god, they've kept I... this one this whole time? No. No, I, I found it under a bunch of boxes. It was empty boxes. Yeah. Like, this one's full. Oh my god. And so to preemptively ask the questions myself. that we know are coming. <laughs> no, we do not have any more coming. There is just that one. <laughs> yeah, there was um, rumors. There online. has been rumors, but not, no confirmations yet. Again, as we always say, we will keep you posted the minute that we find out something more. But for now, we got that one and you could that win one. it. Yeah, don't listen to social media unless it's us. <laughs> Leave us all the time, but other social media platforms. Uh, if you do have one on order from any distributor or anything like that or any retailer, check in with them. But as it sits right now, we're not going to be seeing any this year. That's what we've been told all year in the last year. Yeah. So we're going to stick with that until That's I have a manifest. Know. There you saying go. They're coming. Okay, so that mm. promo should be live now. If you haven't already seen it, it'll be we'll be advertising social media newsletter, all that good stuff. Um, it'll be right on our website. There'll be probably a banner that links to it. There's oh. gonna be a whole page dedicated to it. Um, you yeah. Pr you promised me a dancing neon monkey <laughs> on the banner. You know what, this one time, just maybe. You should. <laughs> <laughs> or the dancing banana. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Put that on the banner so it's like. Nah, 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 All right. Nah, well, <laughs> um, I think yeah. I think I think we're good. So definitely check that out. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, as far as how they're going to be processed, um, I'm assuming you can also buy them in store. The ponchos? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it'll it's just, just like be anything. the order that they come in um, online and in store. They'll be processed in that order. Basically, once 500 is sold, they get taken down. We're yeah. done. We calculate. We put everyone's name in the pool. Because if you bought 150 ponchos, I have to sit there and tear up your name 150 <laughs> times to throw your name into there so we can do the draw. Or we'll have a random number generator. We do generator. a random number generator. Uh, whatever. I think that's more boring. I like the whole tearing. <laughs> well, hey, all the power to you if you want to cut up tiny pieces of paper. Summer students. <laughs> we have summer students. All other duties <laughs> as required. <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys. Well, we hope that you're having a good weekend. And thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next week. Don't forget about us.